Iglesias Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. This afternoon, Stanley Livondo was summoned by DCI over his remarks some few days ago in Thika, after which he had this to say. Ale local namba wanatumika na yeye magarizao namba plates zote where they hide, how they move, how they convey the messages to him na vile wauwa wana implement zile mission zao everything in mepeana ambapo itakuwa neutralized from an hour from today mtasikia watu wanaokoto one by one ambao wakikuwa wamefanya vitendo ya kumaliza witnesses ya kumaliza nini ya kufanya hiyo mjama na wale mercenaries ambao wako ni vizuri nimepeana majina ambao wako ready hata wenyewe kuongea so kila kitu nimepeana ambapo sasa tunangojea DCI afanye investigation yake na wa Kenya wajue na maisha ya rais wetu ikwe salama nilikuwa nilikuwa nataka niseme kwa nini nilifanya na hiyo nimepeana everything i've given whoever is involved kwa hiyo maneno yote wa usika wote ambao utapata hata makanisa who involved it's a big big thing msiangalie ni kama after vile investigation itaanza ndio mtajua kweli this thing is big and it's starting now nafikiria hata saa hii imeanza it is a, a big international thing ambayo siwezi kuongea sasa maneno mengine ni hiyo tu yes from the way Stanley Livondo is actually talking, he's talking with a lot of conviction, a strong indication that he might be knowing exactly what he's talking about. Because in Kenya before, we have seen such kind of cases and incidences. We saw the recent case of Chris Musando, Jacob Juma, and Dr. Christine Bai. Those are cases we have seen in the recent days. So I don't want to actually affirm or dismiss what Stanley Livoni is actually talking about. And I'm saying that because the world over again, it has been proved that when personalities disparately want power, they can do very crazy things to attain that power. But I don't want to go in that foot. In this video, I want us to actually look at the political implications of what Stanley Livondo is actually saying or what the political implication of that whole drama. In fact, from where I sit, I strongly believe that that whole drama is meant to achieve three political objectives. Because it's very clear that in this case, William Ruto is actually the target. That is the naked truth, ladies and gentlemen. So there are three objectives, which I'm going to explain here in details. The first objective Livondo's drama, all those remarks by Stanley Livondo, is actually being used, or rather is achieving, or rather it's intended to evoke emotions on the mountain. That's the first objective, or what that whole drama is actually achieving. And then secondly, that whole drama, or rather those remarks by Stanley Livondo, also puts into question William Ruto's integrity. And I'm going to explain that. And then finally, that whole drama, all those remarks, are meant to expose William Ruto as an overambitious politician. Let's start with the first objective, to evoke emotions on the mountain. In Kenya, our politics is largely based on evoking emotions amongst the population. And we have been seeing that effectively being applied against some candidates in Kenya. Such kind of antiques were actually used against Zaila Molo Odinga in 2013 election. And as I talk right now, William Ruto is trying to, use, to evoke emotions amongst Kenyans that some dynasties, some families have sat somewhere and they want to maybe plan among themselves on how they are going to rule upon the, hus the hustlers. So William Ruto is actually using such kind of narratives to evoke emotions amongst Kenyans. 
So in this case also, I'm also seeing that card being used against William Ruto. Residents of Mount Kenya are just going to be reminded that somebody, maybe they trust so much, wanted in this case to do harm to their son. That's exactly what I'm seeing going to happen, or rather the objective of all this drama. And as that narrative will be repeated on the mountain, a good majority, if not a total majority, of residents of Mount Kenya will actually come into believing that it's actually the truth. Mm. You don't need maybe evidence to prove that. You just have to repeat that narrative consistently on the mountain. And the mountain people will actually come into believing that. And this is why now characters, the likes of Moses Kuria, if at all they could cross over to presidents come and then they be given such kind of a narrative to run with, then they'll be very, very effective in actually disseminating that kind of a narrative. So this, the whole objective of all this is to evoke emotions on the mountain. And those emotions will actually make William Ruto become very unpopular in Mount Kenya. And if that narrative can be repeated consistently, then William Ruto will most definitely lose the mountain vote. And then secondly, I'm also seeing the main aim of all this drama is to put into question William Ruto's integrity as a leader. William Ruto here is the main target. And that William Ruto is being tried to, is being painted as a leader who lacks integrity. And when I say a leader who lacks integrity, because in the past, we have been seeing William Ruto being mentioned, his name being mentioned allegedly in some scandals. We've been seeing, and in fact, William Ruto has also come out to own that actually Western is his, but and that Western sits on a public land. We have also seen before in the year 2007, post-election violence. In fact, William Ruto was being seen that he was actually actively involved in 2007 post-election violence, and he was taken to the head-based court in the Netherlands because of th those skirmishes in the Rift Valley. And now Stanley Livondo is dropping another bombshell on William Ruto. The main aim of this is actually to paint William Ruto as a leader who lacks integrity, a leader who is not to fit to lead this country. He's being painted as a criminal. That's exactly what I'm seeing being done here. And also besides that, there are also some allegations of corruption that have previously been leveled against William Ruto. All this coupled with all these new bombshell are just made to paint William Ruto as a leader who lacks integrity, a leader not fit to be the president. And then finally, Ruto is also being exposed as an overambitious politician. Because in Kenya, ladies and gentlemen, there is no vice president who has ever succeeded his boss directly. There is no vice president who has become the president directly after the president. And the only vice president we saw becoming the president was Daniel Toroitich Arab boy. And he managed to become the president because Jomo Kenyatta died in office. So there is also this narrative that when we have a Kikuyu president and a Kalenjin vice president, the only way the Kalenjin will attain power is if the, the Kikuyu president actually dies in office. So these are just hypotheses and the theories that are just also being used to indicate that William Ruto is an overambitious politician. And his overambition has the ability actually to drive him into doing some very crazy things to attain that power. These are all allegations, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm not trying to say that William Ruto is actually guilty as he's being tried to put me, as he's being portrayed. I'm just trying to analyze the, the most likely possibilities why all this drama, or rather the possibilities of all, or, or rather the objective of that whole drama. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, for today, let me stop there. But in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe give this video a like. 
And in case you are watching us for the very first time and you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are actually watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person who loves our video and so far you have not yet subscribed, also kindly subscribe, drop a comment, give this video a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya.